State the local maximum and minimum values of the function whose graph is shown below. Now, when determining local maximum and minimum values, we are not going to ever include the endpoints, so like the far left and the far right. And so like this point right here on the far left of our domain, we're not even going to consider that. And this far po point on the far right, we're not going to consider. We are only going to consider values between those. So uh, we're looking for points that are higher than all the points around it or lower than all the points around it. So as we move through our curve here, uh, when, anytime you've got a jump discontinuity, you're going to want to look at that, uh, at that value and see what's happening to the function there. Here, uh, we, this is the function value, and we see that it is lower than the function uh, to the right and lower than the function to the left. Okay? So this point right here is going to be a local minimum. And as we continue, we have here another jump discontinuity. And this point right here is uh, higher than the points on the left and higher than the points on the right. And so this is going to be a local maximum. Now to actually indicate, uh, to specify what the local maximum and minimum values are, okay, we are going to uh, state that the local minimum minimum uh, value is uh, we've got a negative negative one right here all right so that, that right there is a negative one so the y value that's negative one uh, and it occurs at occurs at the x value negative one this negative one right here and then for our uh, local maximum local maximum value uh, is at this point here the y value right there is 2 and it occurs at the x value uh, positive 1. So those are our only two local maximum or minimum uh, values.